Hi guys. So today's workout in TRX is going to be standing TRX abdominals. Some of the standing ab work is really great in terms of challenging our stability and our core. So let's get started. I've got my strap set up at about the halfway point and I want to start with just a little bit of movement here to get us started with some squats. I always like to just get a little bit of movement before getting into some of the stronger core work here. Elbows in by my side, my legs are about shoulder distance apart, and just a regular old-fashioned squat here using those straps. Exhale, squat down, and stand up. Good, now remember, on these first initial exercises, work on getting the form, as well as your stability, so that when we get to the heart of the workout, you have everything set up. So my straps are level and even, I'm sitting back into my legs, my abs are tight, my shoulders are stable, all of that working here. I'm going to do four more and three. Exhale two and one last time and up. Now I'm going to take my arms out in front of me. I'm going to keep that tension on my straps. I'm just going to hinge forward and then I'm going to scoop through my spine and come up tall. Just feels nice there. Exhale, lean in, my shoulders are pressing down. Scoop and roll it up one more. Lean in and scoop and roll it up. Now I'm gonna take my right leg behind me. I'm gonna do that single leg hip hinge here. I'm gonna lean in, lifting that leg, and I'm gonna stand right back up. Now remember, your lean in comes from your hips. Your leg lifts with you but doesn't lead. Setting into those shoulders. Exhale. Equal pressure on the right and the left. Two more. Getting a nice length in that hamstring and some early core stability work. And then down. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Set yourself up on the other side. And here we go. Hinge forward from the hips. Level that one off. We all have a little rotation going on sometimes. Lean in, try to keep that hip level, and down. That leg comes up with you, but it does not lead. The other thing that happens with the leg sometimes is it crosses through the midline. You want to try and keep it directly behind you in line with your sits bones, or if you want to think about it, your hip, and down, so that it's not crossing over and challenging you that way. All right, I've got one more here that's just going to feel nice. We're going to do this at the end. Also, I've got a nice wide turned out stance, and I'm just going to get a little rotation in through my torso. So I'm going to bring my arms up, and I'm going to come over. Now, as I do that, I've got a little bit of tension on my straps. I'm not really pulling, but I am allowing my hips to go and my leg to rotate up. You'll be able to see that as I just lift and over. And this is just a nice big piece of movement here. Allows us to flow through. Up. Last time. Finish off the other side. And then done. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to start with our abdominals here. And we're going to start with that rolling plank. So I'm going to take my straps. I'm going to try and work with them at the same tension. So that about halfway point. So now this one, since we're working in that plank position, we're walking through our straps. Your suspension point is going to be behind you. And what I'm going to do to start us off is start us in an elbow plank. So the forearm right below my elbow, closer to my wrist than my shoulder, is in the foot cradles here so that I can be in what would be an elbow plank on the mat. I've got my legs just about hip distance apart, not all the way in and not super wide. And I'm going to lean into that. Now, I've got that rib hip connection, that shoulder girdle nice and strong, that head is in that right alignment. And as I'm leaning into this plank, I'm going to add a little bit of elbow movement. Inhale to open, exhale to bring them back together. Inhale and exhale. So as I'm moving here, I'm allowing my body to lean forward in a plank, not sinking through the hips. Exhale. And then as I come back, I'm drawing my arms almost in an arc shape, down and back together. Inhale, open. 
exhale. Good, four more here. And three, we're gonna do 10 reps. You can add on or take away two. One last time. And done, excellent. I'm gonna stay in position, really working through my core here. I'm gonna walk myself slightly forward so I'm a little bit more vertical, taking some of the tension off my abdominals. I'm gonna reach my arms out. So reach them out and then pull them back in. And reach them out and pull them back in. So that nice, long Superman position and then drag them in. And again, you've got your rib hip connection Draw them in so that you're working through those abdominals to keep that body stable as you reach and in. Now, there's a couple of things you can do to make this more challenging or easier. To make it easier, you can walk your feet closer to where your hands are, away from your suspension point. You've got one more. And you'll be more vertical. To make it harder, you can move your legs back. You'll be more horizontal, and that will be harder. Or you can take your straps into your hands, like we're gonna do for this next set, and have your arms long. So now I've got long arms here, and I'm gonna reach up into that Superman and down. Now, I'm setting my shoulders, I'm engaging, I'm shifting my body slightly, and down. Now this straight arm position into that Superman, definitely a progression up, really challenging that rib hip connection so that that lower back stays supported. We're gonna get you one more and back in. So that was five of those and 10 of the first ones. Okay, so you can stay with just the elbows adding as much or as few reps as you'd like, or you can progress it up into those full arms. Okay, we're gonna come up and we're gonna get us a little bit of side bending work for our core. So for our side bending, for our obliques, I've got my strap shorter. Now, depending upon the size of your room and the space you have to work with, you can have your straps really long. My room does not offer me a lot of ability to have those straps longer. So my straps are all the way short, what you really want to do is be able to position the straps so that they're tight and they can be on top of your head with your hands, with your body in a semi side plank position. Now you have a few options for your legs here. You can be in this split stance, one leg forward and one leg back, which is definitely an easier position to start with, or you can be with your legs stacked one on top of the other. Definitely the more challenging of the progressions. Now, which leg you have forward is up to you, okay? You can have the forward leg forward and come up. That closes the hip angle a little bit. Or you can have the inside leg back so that the hip is a little bit more open. So I'm gonna work with my inside leg backwards, my right leg in this case the one that's closest to my suspension point. And I've got my straps on top of my head and I'm leaning slightly to my left hand side away from my suspension point. Now, we do wanna keep these straps attached to the head as we work so that you do the work with your abdominals and not with your arms. It's like a bend and a dip but it is definitely more challenging in a standing position to pull yourself up against gravity and to prevent yourself from twisting. Two more here. Last one. And done, excellent. So before moving on to the other side, we're gonna stay on this side and do some punches in that side plank position. Now, these look a lot easier 
than they are. So I'm leaning in, I've got my arms out in front of me, and I'm holding my foot cradles. I find that to be a little bit more comfortable and free of movement than holding the um, padded handle. So you can choose what you like. Now, I'm leaning in, I'm really working through my obliques here to keep my body in position, and I'm gonna punch my arms out in front of me. Punch and in, punch and in. And my goal is to punch without moving anything else. So you're gonna feel those obliques really kick in as those arms go out long. Two more. Last one. And done, nice. I'm sure you'll be happy with the challenge with that one. All right, so we're gonna turn around and do the whole set on the other side. Hands at the head for the side bending and I've got that split stance. My inside leg is back, my outside leg is forward, and here we go, dipping away from your suspension point, and up, and again. Remember, being cognizant that your straps stay on top of your head. Shoulders are stable. Doing the waist work or the work from the waist. Two more. One last time. And done. Awesome. Okay, so we've got to do those punches on that side also. Keeping that body in position. I'm gonna hold the foot cradles here. I've got that same split stance, inside leg back, hands in front of the chest, and I have to shift myself slightly closer to my, my suspension point so my straps are right at my chest. All right, I seem to be lined up now. Here I go, lean in and punch out and in. So although it's a little bit strange, I find, to not face the camera, I do find that it gives us a good look at what goes on on the back of the body, which we don't always get. So don't hold against me that I'm facing away from you. Use it as a learning tool and done. Awesome, very nice. All right, so we've got a little bit more oblique work here. So our last exercise here today is a rotation through the torso. I've again got my straps at that shortened length. My arms are out long in front of me. I'm leaning in in that little bit of the half plank position. I've got my legs wide and turned out so that I can move freely in my rotation through my hips. And then I can also allow the legs and the feet and ankles to pivot. So I've set myself up here. My shoulders are stable. I've got that rib hip connection. And I'm gonna pull my arms up and to the corner to get my first bit of rotation. So on my exhale, my arms stay straight, pull yourself up and rotate, and then come back center. And then the other side, up and rotate, and then back center. And when you come back center, make sure you find that half plank position again. And up, and then back. And as you're rotating up, keeping that rib hip connection so you get rotation but no arching. Again, your Pilates principles in play here. Now you do get some nice freedom of movement here, but you do want to temper it with control of your core. So you get those obliques doing the work, but also stabilizing in the right body position. And again, keeping the shoulders in check also. I've got one more here. And then back. Awesome, nice job. All right, nice exercises there for the core standing. We're gonna get us just a little bit of our stretching here. So those arms are out straight. Just like earlier in our warm up, I'm gonna hinge forward, set those shoulders, and I'm gonna scoop and roll all the way up nice 
hinge forward, tuck through that tail, pressing down into those arms as I scoop and roll up. Two more. Lean in. Exhale, scoop up. One more, lean in and exhale up. It's nice to get some rolling and some movement after all that stabilizing work with those obliques. Now, just like we did earlier, we are gonna get that nice freedom of, freedom of movement in that swinging. So exhale up and then back. After that last rotation we did, where we really had to control and pull our body weight up with our arms. This is nice to stand and let those arms just swing and get some movement here. Up and up. Two more. Lift. Good, last one. Up and done. Excellent. Nice work. So you're standing abdominal work against your straps, really working to control that rib hip connection so that lower back doesn't tuck into an arch or round when you don't want it to. So all that stability there while working through the rectus layer and that deep, deep wrapping transversus layer, that girdle layer to keep everything in place and support it. So nice work with that. Add that into any of your other TRX workouts or your abdominal workouts with other pieces of equipment or the mat and you'll be sure to see results. See you again soon. Have a great day.